What's good? 254 Watunguya is karibu sana. It's Thursday, so you definitely know what time it is. I for sure know what time it is. It's Sports Central Time, the show that guarantees you your weekly fix of sports action. We're your hosts, and I'm Wonder Long Hour. And I'm Mike Mondo, so do this, buckle up, and hey, keep it Sports Central. Coming up on today's episode. The Hong Kong rugby team is in town for a round of test matches against the Simba 15s. Plus, we have a studio hangout with the Kenyan stig, Jeremy Wahome. He is flying the Kenyan flag high in the British F3. And thereafter, we get down and dirty with the Kenyan Kabaddi team as they prepare for the World Cup and a friendly match against England. But first, on to the headlines. Leg 3 of the 7 series takes us to Mombasa County for the Driftwood 7s as teams battle for the coveted series trophy. With Impala and Homeboys each having a leg under their belt, it was bound to be a bloodbath to see who will reign supreme down at the coast. Running from the buffalo and he goes over. After a toughly contested pool stage and playoff round, it was time for the Menengai Cream homeboys to square it out with the Kenya Harlequins in their third Main Cup Finals appearance of the series. A try at the death by Jose Odiambo would however see the Kenya Harlequins become the third different cup winner after three rounds of seven series, defeating Menengai Cream homeboys 19-14 in the tight contest. Yes, it is under the post, the diving try. The Sport Pesa Super 8 League leaders Jericho All Stars took on Kawangware United in a return leg fixture. The on form Jericho All Stars wasted no chances as they cemented their top spot with a resounding 4 0 victory over Kawangware United. The victory ensures that Jericho All-Stars maintain the league's top spot, while TUK, Kayole Asubuhi and Shaori Moyo Blue Stars make for the remaining of the top four sides. The Maji Mazuri family were treated to an amazing surprise from the EFC crew as their facilities got a new paint job. So today we are here at Maji Mazuri. It's a follow-up of our tournament that uh, we held in July 30th. Uh, to look at my promise, we'll do a couple of stuff and one of that uh, promise was to come and paint this home. And a day coupled with lots of fun and activities. The refurbishment of the home was an initiative from last month's EFC B-Ball tournament as celebrities and Sport Pesa staff joined in the painting of the home. I want to paint the whole home, you know, the classrooms, uh, the dormitories, so that we are going to place lively. You know, it's, it's, it's kidogo part of, uh, of therapy. Today we are happy to host EFC and Sport Pesa. Uh, who have graciously offered to paint some of our rooms uh, because bright colors are part of therapy for children and so this will go a long way in uh, brightening the rooms especially the classrooms and the dormitories where the children sleep. After a super sick victory at the Elgon Cup, the Kenya 15's rugby team was psyched so that they could go ahead and take on Hong Kong in the second home fixture of the 2016 season. And Kamakawaida, you the fans showed up in large numbers to rally behind your favourite teams. Let's take a look at how it all went down. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you doing? This is the Kenya A versus Hong Kong Junior game. Get ready.
seven, and an eight, eight, seven. My, my, what a game we've had. Did you see what just happened on the field? Well, if you didn't, don't worry, get ready. We're going to be talking to some of the guys from both of the teams to find out exactly what went down. <laughs> An exhilarating game between Kenya and Hong Kong. Kenya just won, and right now we are with the captain, Nick, of the Hong Kong team. Hi, Nick, how are you? I'm um, good, thanks. How did you feel about the game? Oh, we're a little bit frustrated, I guess. Uh, we made, made too many errors, but uh, congratulations to Kenya. They played well and, and uh, deserved the victory. Uh, today's game, we came into it uh, with high hopes. We didn't train so much uh, as being a Kenya A side, uh, but we put our best foot forward and the results tell it all. I'm so proud of them to, to, to have that mental strength and, uh, and the belief in, um, in that, they can, that they can deliver. Saturday is going to be a cracker, um, for sure. Uh, the, the, boys, the boys have been training so hard. Uh, there's a home advantage. Secondly, we have uh, the altitude. The, uh, Hong Kong is on sea level, so they, they really struggle against our game. I'm sure they're going to struggle against them, but I'm sure they have picked up pace and they have acclimatized. So we'll wait and see. We're about to take a break, but there's going to be more good stuff coming up. Just you wait. <laughs> Keep it Sports Central. <laughs> My name is Dominic Abimana, uh, Kenya 15's uh, assistant coach, uh, TP Sports Central. So Wanji, round one of the test, what did you think? Wow, I thought the Simba 15s killed it. Yep. That's another victory under their belt. And you know, on to the next. Yep, I couldn't agree more. Well, we at Sports Central take a quick break, but hey, don't move because when we come back, we hang out with the Kenyan Stig, Jeremy Wahome. Welcome back, and just in case you're only tuning in now, you're watching Sports Central, the show that guarantees you your weekly fix of sports action. That's what's up, and we have some awesome news for you, and for this, by the way, I just have to get into character, so let's do this. Some say that he can run faster than Usain Bolt, and he can do it with both his eyes closed and listening to reggae music, and all I know is they call him the stick. Ish, Mike, are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you at all. You know what? While Mike is trying to get his intro together for Stig, we're going to go ahead and tell you that we realize Kenyans really don't know enough about Formula One racing. However, we did catch up with one young, up-and-coming driver who has his heart set on getting to the top of the very competitive sport. Take a look. I'm Jeremy Ohome. I'm 17 years old and I'm racing in the British Formula 3 Championship. I started racing when I was eight. It started for fun and then as I got interested in it, then I started getting more competitive and I did the Rift Valley Motorsports Club Championship, which is a more competitive go-karting championship. And then as that progressed, I moved on to Formula BMW Asia Cup in Malaysia and now I'm racing in the UK in the British Formula 3 Championship. I think as I'm not only racing for myself in these championships, but I'm also representing my country, Kenya, so I'm proud to have the Kenyan flag on my helmet and on my suit and also to show people that also Kenyans can do these sports where Kenyans haven't been seen before and show them that, yeah, we're here to win and we can do this. My family have been with me every step of the way. They've supported me from day one, from go-karting. And then when I told them I want to do this, I'm interested in this, they've always been there for me and they've always helped me achieve my goals. So they've been really supportive.
in Kenya we only had we really only had one track which was in Solai so that's where all the races were held but I think now there's another track in Maimahe so back then I didn't have much variety so we only used to race at one track so I didn't really have a favorite So far my highlight was in was in Malaysia when I managed to finish on the podium in an international event so I was really happy with that I finished second twice and third once so that was a really good result and I was the overall rookie winner so amongst the first timers I was the best of all of them so that was my highlight so far In terms of racing my ultimate goal would be to reach Formula 1 so now I'm on the I'm moving up the ranks getting closer year by year so Formula 1 is my ultimate goal It takes a lot of hard work to make it to Formula 1. Not, you don't only have to have the talent because everyone has the talent but it all comes down to who works the hardest, who is the most persistent and with racing it's not like most other sports where, where like football you can keep playing football but in racing you also have to take time out and do more work outside the track to ensure that you're giving your best performance on the track so in terms of fitness preparing with your engineers before the race so it's not only on the track but also behind the scenes it takes a lot of hard work to get there I think I have three outright favorites in Formula One first of all it's, it's Lewis Hamilton because when I started racing that's when he won his world championship so that's when I got to find out about Formula One and he was the best then so I started following him and then I saw how good of a driver he was the fastest in qualifying he does the best overtakes he's, he's the bravest so I look up to him to try get some of those qualities and then there's also Daniel Ricciardo who's he's a fun character in the Formula One world and also Max Verstappen because he's young just like me, he's 18 and he's already won a Formula 1 race so that shows me that even us young guys can do it just keep working hard and you can get there Ocon versus Brian Meisner versus Serralis Verstappen is in the mix as well and Menezes tries to join in Verstappen round the outside brilliant move, brilliant Verstappen leads, Ocon tries to fight back but he can't do it this season just how brave a driver Verstappen is For those individuals who want to do racing but it's it's not a common sport yet in Kenya just keep keep following your dreams there's no big dream too big or too small just one day you get a chance and you have to be ready so keep keep working at it and you never know what can happen just be persistent and your dreams are valid So for those who want to follow on my racing journey and find out more about what I do you can follow me on Facebook on Jeremy Wahome Racing and on Instagram and Twitter on at Wahome Racing and you can enjoy the journey. By the way, when Jira looking at that, it looks like a high speed game of chess. I must say, quite, that's a beautiful analogy. You must be smart. Right? <laughs> All right, I'll give you props. I'll give you props, Mike. Good. You know what? Anyway, Good you stuff. slice it. You know how we do at Sports Central? Yeah. Wishing the Jeremy Wahome Racing Team the very best as they carry that Kenyan flag high. Absolutely. Hey, speaking of dope things, have you heard of Kabaddi? Yeah, I have. I have. I have that. Um, <clears throat> Mike, um, Mike, I ask you not to front. Hold on. I, I know this. I know mm -hmm. this. Is that that team sport? Um, I, um, people are, you know, like running around or doing something like that. But, you know, that group of people together. <laughs> okay, this is not Typical awkward. man. <laughs> you don't know what's going on, but you're too yeah. shy to say. Let okay. me teach you something. Okay. Uh, Kabaddi is a contact sport that mm -hmm. has its roots in ancient India. 
but it's become so popular in the 254 of late that there's even a national team that practices for the World Cup. Wow, that's dope. I thought it was so sick. So check this out. Sports Central had to be on ground for a training session just to find out what the Kabaddi national team is all about. Find out what's going on now. Check this out. Kabadi uh, DJ Mia offense na defense. Game game inachezwa na players wa saba kila upande na au players wa saba kuna wale wako nje 5. So wale wako sub wako 5 nje. So wale wanaingia kwa court ni 7 plus wale team nyingine 7. Then game inachezwa for 20 minutes 20 minutes. So uh, first half 20 minutes, second half 20 minutes. Break half time inakwanga 5 minutes. So Game in and I kuna radar kitoka hapa and the side ingine uh, ashike mtu moja yoni point kwa hii team kama ni team A yoni point kwa team A then ule mse wa team B mwenye ameshikwa atatoka nje then kuna pia team B atakuja atrai kushika mtu moja ama ashikwe akishikwa watu wa team A wakimshika yoni point kwa team, uh, team A watakuwa na 2 points juu ya ule mse alishikwa kwanza alichukua point huko team B so game inaenda tunatoana Mini kikamu ni shikwe, nitatoka inje, but ni kichukua point, narudisha mtu wetu mmoja ndani yama na, na ongeza points zina kuwa mingi. Kabadi is only two years old, but it's really tricky taking, taking one well. Uh, we've moved to several counties and it has also attracted uh, schools. Guys from rugby are coming in because it's a new sport and there's also competition in, in, in rugby. So they find this sport uh, another, another, another home to, to have a chance to, to present the country to play. For the first requirements, we have speed, strength and agility. If you have a tattoo, then you have a quick thinker. You have a TV game. We are preparing to take the team to the World Cup that will start on uh, 7th October to 22nd October. Uh, we're calling in. We're calling on uh, the sponsors. Any sponsor to come in and sponsor in any kind. The team lacks your uh, playing shoes. They're very. They're not finding locally. We have no track suit. We have no uniform. Uh, players have no allowance. Now the coach is here. These players can't be training. They only have to train two hours a day. And the coach, because we we Kenyans, we are we are not experienced like other teams like India. So we need more training with this coach. But now the players can't find time to be in training because they are not paid. So if someone can come in, maybe give the players their allowances, then I will have easy time for them to have them in training. They are having good strength, good agility, good in speed, but they are lacking in experience only. They will get it. One of the countries in Angalia Sana ni Kama India. Uh, tukipatana nao, tuwa chape, itakuwa poa sana kwa pia minta fraia za captain na uh, taendelea kutia uh, mabrozangu hapa hivu kwa grau, tukwe on na tuendelea kucheza hivu wadi, tuchinda yu, yu main cup. Kila mse ya ready kabisa na tunangoja sana yu siku kucheza yu friendly na England na pia tunangoja sana yu World Cup to travel na kucheza pia na hizo countries ingine. Yeah, it's a fun game. Watu wakamu wa enjoy. Na najua ina atari. Ina, atari ziko kwa kila game but ukijibamba tu interest kila kitu na kuapua. Some really physical stuff right there, Wanjira, don't you agree? I thought that was too cool too. I mean, we got to learn a lot about a sport that isn't necessarily getting that much highlighted on. You know yeah, what I'm it's saying? very true. Very yeah, true. so that was pretty cool. I hope the Kabaddi team kills it. Most definitely. And of course on the TL, getting so much love. Mashuka Yule Moja, I see you, Baba. You're saying that you're repping Team Kenya in the Rio Olympics. Also not forgetting uh, Babo O'Cliff. 
hey, that Gina, my guy, you just have taken me somewhere else. But Babu Cliff is saying that, yes, we should also wrap our tars in the Sport Pesa Super 8 Premier League. Speaking of which, Wanjira, TUK, how are they doing for you? Uh huh. What would you think? <laughs> Killing it, obviously. I really think those guys could end up on the top of the league. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, since we're on the TL, I want to go ahead and shout out Junior, who said that he's keeping it sports central like always. Thanks, Baba. In the meantime, though, I need you to look at something, Mike. Like, what is this video? Dead. <laughs> 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 it's an absolutely funny video. When Gino speaking of which, I should really try out that dance. You have look, I'm I'm practicing right You're now. You're doing it, okay? Let Wanjira get her groove on. But Kamakaweda, we have to say Kwaherin. As usual, it has been fun hanging out with you. Of course, don't forget, hit us up. Let us know about stuff that you'd love to see featured on the show and we'll definitely sort you out. Mike is absolutely right. In fact, if you want to find out if you can be mentioned on the show, then you need to follow us, baby. Do so by hitting us up on Twitter at SportsCentral underscore K. You can even follow us on Instagram at SportsCentralKE as well as on Facebook at Sports Central Kenya. If you want to find old episodes, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Sports Central Kenya. Until then, though, keep, keep it, it Sports Central. Central.